this channel must never be considered a substitute for advice provided by a doctor. Hello, my Mr. B. Uh, so in today's uh, video, as promised, uh, we're going to cover uh, five most uh, beneficial and safe uh, exercises uh, for the first uh, uh, trimester of pregnancy, a home version. So you won't going to need anything uh, uh, but a towel or a blanket for the uh, joints uh, and maybe an elastic band or something, uh, whatever you have around your house uh, made of uh, elastic material. Now. We're going to start with a warm-up, uh, top to down. Um, we'll, so we're going to take every joint and we're going to warm it up. I'm going to start with the head. Two by two, twice to the left, twice to the right. We want to feel the stretch as much as we can. Every time we do, we want to feel we're doing a bit more. We're pulling a bit more. Up and down again. Uh, we're taking into consideration there is no uh, uh, issue with our uh, cervical spine, so it's a healthy one. Uh, in case you feel anything, just stop and just double check uh, with your professional. Going forward to the uh, traps in here, we're going nice big circles towards the back. One by one, two by two, we're pulling as much as we can. Moving forward to the chest, we're going to up as much as we can without putting pressure onto our uh, uh, stomach and without uh, uh, turning from our uh, thoracic spine in here, yeah? So as much as we can, we're stretching out the chest. Afterwards, we're going for the uh, circles. We don't want to shrug up our traps, pull them down as much as you can. We're going forward, we're going backwards one by one and two by two afterwards we're going eight times each movement twice yeah relax breathe in breathe out now for the next one we're gonna go uh, only if you don't have any uh, back uh, pain or back problems at all yeah uh, we're gonna bend over forward two forward two backwards as you can see, the glutes, we want to push them back as much as we can. Uh, in case we need, we can always support our hands towards a wall, yeah? So we can stretch as much as we can uh, the uh, posterior chain, chain in there. Now, all the way up, we want to touch up the ceiling and all the way down as we exhale. Don't you worry if you're not touching the ground, yeah? I'm just a bit more flexible than the majority, okay? And here, breathe in, breathe out. And if the tummy is allowing us, we can go, we can stick our feet together and go like that as well. If not, don't worry about that. Then the extremities, like the ankles and wrists, and that'll do. Uh, that'll do the minimum of the warm-up. We can always go for a specific warm-up afterwards, but I wanted to touch down at least on the minimum. Now, the first one of the uh, five exercises uh, home version uh, will be the squats. Now, when it comes to squats, I want you to pay attention to the technique, ladies. This is the most important. The feet a bit uh, wider apart than the shoulders. Chest out, strong abs by strong abs. Again, don't put any unnecessary pressure onto the little one, okay? And why, what we want to pay attention to um, are our knees, yeah? We don't want them to come inwards, but we don't want to pull them too much outwards either, yeah? Don't exaggerate. Just try to keep the line. Keep the joint line, so we're gonna go straight. Go all the way down, straight back. We're pulling our arms towards the back so we can engage them as well, yeah? Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. The whole body is working together. Now, from a side, I want you to see the center of gravity that's on our heels, right? As vertical as we can, our posture in here. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Remember, we don't want to shrug up our traps, so we're pulling them down as well. For the next one now, uh, what we've got in here, we've got uh, elastic band. If you don't have any elastic band, don't you worry. As mentioned before, uh, whatever you have around your house made of um, uh, elastic material, it's very good. Yeah, don't you worry about that. Uh, if you still have, if you do have though the, the uh, elastic bands, you can guide by their resistance. So the red one is the easiest, the lightest. Yeah. Then we've got. Uh, uh, so this one is the the lightest. We've got the green one, which is in the middle, uh, and the toughest, to put it that way, is the blue one. I'm gonna use this one just because I love blue. I am the blue lover in here. Okay. In here, pay attention, ladies, to the traps in here. Yeah. Chest out, breathe in. And as we breathe out, we want to pull as much as we can. Nice and control. Slow down the movement as we go up. Yeah. And as we uh, breathe in and breathe out, we're pulling down. We want to have tension at all times in the band. Yeah. We don't want to uh, lock our our elbows, but we don't want to bend either, yeah? We want a constant tension in there. And as we breathe out, we're pulling even more. Moving forward to the lunges. Now, what we want to do here, it's never, will it, when it comes to lunge, you will never have uh, your feet on the same line, yeah? Try to keep the uh, pelvis line in here. So you're going to have an L shape. Okay. Let's switch the legs so you can see the L. Maybe it's better like that. Okay. Uh, test out in here. We don't want to arch our, over arch our back. Uh, knees, again, we don't want them too inwards. We don't want them too outwards either. We just want to keep them straight as much as we can. Nice and control the movement as we go down. Slow. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. We want to feel the movement into the glute of the uh, forward leg. So we want to breathe in, breathe out. Let's see from our side as well. So again, chest out, and the center of, of gravity, we want to be as vertical as we can. So you, if you're able to uh, pull your toes up, then you're good, yeah? Because we don't want any pressure onto the knees. Now, heading to the upper body, uh, more said to the triceps. We're going to activate a bit of a, a shoulder line and uh, uh, of the... Uh, chest, but mainly the triceps. You can use whatever edge you've got uh, in your house. You can use a chair, you can use a uh, the edge of a bed, of a sofa, whatever. I'm pretty sure you, you can find something you can support on. Now, I want your uh, fingers to come outwards as we don't want to put uh, pressure onto our uh, shoulder joint in here. Yeah. So again, fingers outwards and depending on um, our level, we can have straight legs or we can have bent legs. Bent legs comes a bit easier. What we want to pay attention again is we don't want to shrug up. Yeah, we don't want to fall, <laughs> to put it that way. We don't want to uh, put pressure onto our uh, traps. So in here, inhale, exhale and squeeze go as low as you can without feeling any pain into your shoulders uh, anywhere else okay now the fifth but not last <laughs> last but not least uh for this one we're gonna need a towel as i said or a blanket or whatever you have according to uh the toughness of your uh <clears throat> floor in here 
just for the spine to feel more comfortable now in here we want to lay down on our back and we want to stick the lumbar spine to the ground we're gonna lift one leg up towards the ceiling we want to push through our heel uh, and the one on the floor in here we want we don't want it to be too close to us yeah because we want to activate the hamstrings and the glutes in here we want to push through our heels here breathe in and as we breathe out we're going we're pushing our pelvis area towards the ceiling again we don't want them to go to hawaii with the glutes yeah we don't want our heel to be too close we want to be a bit further so we can feel the activation to act to engage as much as we can the posterior chain in here okay if this feels too much ladies we can always go for the both legs down version which it will gonna be a bit easier uh, the technique remains the same we want our lumbar spine to uh, uh, keep contact with the ground we don't want to over arch our lumbar spine breathe in and breathe out we want to touch with the lumbar spine not with the uh, uh, glutes in here breathe in and squeeze breathe out mind your knees as well to be outwards okay so which one do you prefer ladies out of these five and which one did you uh, feel the toughest the hardest to execute 